What is going on guys, it's Modded Warfare here. Welcome back to another PS4 tutorial. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to PSN activate your local accounts on your 5.05 PS4. And this does not allow you to connect to PSN, so let's just throw that out of the window straight away, unfortunately. It's nothing that epic, but it does give you some more features on the PS4, including the ability to export your save files to a USB drive, which we can then use in a roundabout way to essentially mod games on your retail PS4 with mods from your 5.05 PS4. So I'm going to be covering both of those things in this one video here. So just to show you what I mean, this account I've done the PSN activation on. So as you can see, if I press options, it comes up with, you know, sign in status. Whereas on this account, my normal account, pressing options does nothing. If I go into this uh, account that's not PSN activated, just to show you what I mean here, if I go to settings and go down to application save data management, save data in system storage, and then try and copy my saves to a USB drive, you can see I get this error here. Um, so I have to update to the latest software and then it'll, you know, I have to connect to a PSN account in order to access this feature. So if I sign into this one here and do the same thing, go to settings, go to uh, application save data management, save data in system storage, copy to USB drive. As you can see, no error message, no requiring me to download an update. I can just go ahead and, you know, copy any of these saves over to my USB drive. So in order to actually PSN activate your 5.05 accounts, you're going to need the PS4 offline account activator that was recently released by Charlizard. And this developer uh, basically released the program as the source code. So you had to actually edit the IP address in the source code and add a PSN account ID and stuff into the source code um, and then build the application yourself. Now, obviously that requires having Visual Studio and um, compiling the PS4 debug tool. So I thought that was just a bit too much to have to do. So I went ahead and made a slightly edited version of the program that's already pre-compiled for you and it will just prompt you to enter the IP address, the user ID and the PSN account ID so you don't have to build or compile the, the program yourself. So if you download that version that I'll put in the description, the edited version, you just extract the PS4 offline account activator to uh, your computer and then from there what we're going to do is we're going to need to get a PSN account ID. And there's two ways that you can do this. Now, if you're wanting to do the second part of this video where you're able to actually swap your saves between your jailbroken PS4 and your retail PS4. So if you have a PS4 that's on uh, the latest firmware and you have a jailbroken PS4, a 5.05 PS4, you can use the same PSN account ID from your retail PS4 account or one of your retail PS4 accounts, you can use that PSN ID to activate your offline account on your 5.05 PS4. Then your save game files will be transferable from your jailbroken PS4 to your retail PS4. So that's pretty good for making modded saves because that's what we're gonna do. We, we can make a modded save file on our 5.05 PS4 and then export the save file to our retail PS4. Um, and use that modded save on our retail that's on the latest firmware. So if you want to do that, then you need to get the PSN ID from your retail PS4. So I'll show you that first. So to get that, you'll first off need a USB stick. So make sure you grab a USB drive and make sure it's formatted in FAT32 or XFAT format. So make sure your drive's formatted in that format. If it's not, just right click and go to format and select XFAT or FAT32 as the file system and click start. Make sure you back up any data that was on the drive before because formatting it will erase the drive and uh, then you're good. So if we unplug our USB drive, plug it into our retail PS4, make sure you're signed into a PSN account. As you can see, I've made a new account here, Moddy McWarfare, who uh, is a, a PSN account. You can just create the PSN account on the PS4 or create it on PlayStation.com and make sure you're signed into it on your PS4. Then on your retail PS4, you're gonna to go to settings. You're gonna go down to application save data management, go to um, save data in system storage and copy to USB storage device. And then select any save file that you have, any game save that you have um, on that profile and copy it to your USB drive. 
We're only doing this just to get the PSN account ID. No other reason. So it doesn't matter what save file you select. All right, so now we can unplug that USB drive and plug it back into our computer. Okay, so now we can go back onto our USB drive and we now have PS4, save data. And this number here is your PSN ID. So this is your PSN account ID uh, that we are going to basically use to activate the offline account on our 5.05 .05 PS4. So copy that ID. Now you can also try and find your PSN account ID by signing into playstation.com and then looking in the source for your account ID. You can find it in the page source sometimes, but I haven't had much success with that. It's better to do it with the USB method. However, if you are not trying to be able to copy a save from your 5.05 .05 PS4 to your retail PS4, if you don't have a retail PS4, you don't even have a PSN account and have no need for a PSN account, you just want to activate your 5.05 .05 account just to get access to those additional features, then you can just create a random PSN account ID just to be able to activate it. So to do that, you can just uh, grab yourself like a hex editor. I'll link one in the description here. You just enter all zeros up to 07, which is the length of uh, the PSN account ID. Um, and then just generate some random bytes. So if we right click and uh, fill selection, we can do random bytes and then just use this as your PSN account ID. So if we just open up notepad here and go ahead and get rid of the spaces, then that can be our PSN account ID. Obviously it's not a valid ID, but it doesn't matter. It will still work to activate the account and give you those extra features, despite the fact that it's not actually a real PSN account ID. Okay, so now that you've got that ID, the next thing we're going to do is go back on our 5.05 uh, .05 PS4. Okay, so on our 5.05 .05 PS4, you need to select an account that you want to activate. So I would not recommend using your main account that you use on 5.05. .05. I mean, I might do a video on how to get it working with that. The problem is if you PSN activate an account that you have been using on your 5.05 .05 console for a while, ones that you've played games on and you have a lot of save files on and trophies, then activating that old account will corrupt all of your previous save files on that account. You know, I'll probably do another video on how to get that working, but it involves having to like delete all of your, your trophies from your account and, you know, backing up all your saves and stuff like that. So it's best to do this with a new account. So just create a new user account on your PS4. Just skip the PlayStation Network sign in because that's going to try and get you to download the latest system software version. Then just give it a name. And it doesn't have to be the same account name as your retail PS4. It can just be any account name uh, that you want. So just click OK. And we've created that new local account. So this doesn't have any trophies um, or any previous save files on it because it's a new account. So it's not going to corrupt anything. Okay, so now just get the IP address of your PS4. So if we go to settings, system, system information, you can see my IP address. So note down your IP address of your PS4, then go to the internet browser and you want to go to this exploit page, which is um, 165.227.83.145. So if you enter that IP address into the PS4's web browser, it will take you to this web page. The old server um, is, has no, is no longer running. So um, there was some problems with the host apparently. So that server's gone, the old 108.61 server. Or you can go to this web address. So you can either go to that or go to the IP address. It should take you here. And then go to PS4 RTEs 5.05 and select PS4 debug. You might want to just check the about section to make sure it's version 1.0 because I've had trouble trying to get this uh, PS4 account activator working with version 1.1 of PS4 debug. So just make sure it's version 1.0 and then run PS4 debug. Not enough free system memory, so just try and run it again. There we go, done. And you should get the notification saying PS4 uh, debug by golden. So just stay on this page and you should be fine. If PS4 debug on here gets updated to 1.1, you can just download PS4 debug version 1.0 from GitHub 
and uh, inject the payload manually using like netcat GUI or something or a different payload injector using the uh, bin loader in the exploit page as well. So you can do it either way. Okay, so now that we have the PS4 debugger running, we're gonna run the PS4 offline account generator. And now it's gonna ask for the IP address of the PS4. So enter the IP address of the PS4. Press enter, should say executable base. Then it's gonna say enter the user number. So that is the, the number of accounts that you have on the system. And it's in the order of when they were created. So my initial modded warfare account is account number one. Then that mod account is number two. And then my most recent one I just created is number three. So I'm gonna enter account number three. Then I'm gonna press enter. And then it's gonna give you information on how to find the account ID which I've just showed you. So what you're gonna do is get that account ID off the USB stick again and paste it in here where it says enter PSN account ID. Then just press enter and it should say press any key to continue. So press enter again, it should close and that's it, it's done, it's worked. So in order to uh, actually have the changes take effect properly, we're gonna restart the PS4. Okay, and now if I press options you can see I have the the option to select my account so I can go ahead and select my account here so that means it is activated and we can now export the saves so that's the first part of this video over you've now got an account on your 5.05 ps4 that's now PSN activated you have the access to those extra features so now to actually utilize that to create mods for our retail ps4 so what we can do is if I go back on the computer and just delete that save file now just delete that off the off the usb drive and plug the usb drive into my 5.05 ps4 okay so i'm just going to use this account that's also psn activated because i already have a save for god of war and i'm just using god of war as an example it's a game i have on disc so i can play it on both consoles so what i'm going to do is i'm going to run the bin loader the bin loader payload Wait for that to say awaiting payload. Then I'm gonna use this God of War tool, this RTE tool I have on my computer. And of course you can also use um, PS4 Trainer as well, which has like a ton of games, um, a ton of uh, like RTE mods for all of these different games. So you could create modded saves with, you know, a lot of these. So then what we're gonna do is inject the payload there you go, payload injected successfully. Um, and then from there, we can go ahead and start God of War or whichever uh, game. Don't worry about that update, it'll fail because I have the update blocker installed. You also notice because it's PSN activated, it's trying to download updates and all kinds of things from PSN, which is pretty interesting, even though I'm on an older firmware. That can be another benefit for, um, for activating your PSN account. Okay, so as you can see, I've loaded this game up I'm on basically a new account, so I've got nothing unlocked, no XP, no hack silver. So I'm going to go ahead and use this tool. I'm going to attach to the game. And okay, so it's 7408. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and set XP, set hack silver. And if I just move, you can see there it's all unlocked. So then I can go to, you know, skills and just purchase all of these skills. Now, this is not the perfect game to do this on, of course, but. You know, there are other games, especially like MMORPGs and stuff that would be good for, for this kind of thing with a modded save. You know, games like that are probably better for this kind of thing. It just depends on what will stick onto your save file when you do this. Because obviously, infinite health, infinite rage and stuff, that's stuff that has to be set in memory all the time. That's not going to stick to your save file, so stuff like god mode's not going to work. But setting your XP, your money, um, and you know, your level, that kind of stuff. That's stuff that sticks to your save file, so you can use an RTE tool to mod those values, save it, of course, create a save game, and then export that save to your retail PS4, which is what we're doing here. So there's just a basic example um, of me going ahead and unlocked all of these, all of these skills. Purchased all of that. Um, and of course, if I wanted to go even more, I could go to resources and you can add certain resources like chaos flames and emeralds and all that kind of stuff and different alloys. So you can do all of that. So this is just a simple example. So we've got max hack silver, max XP. 
So what I'm going to do now is just create a save. So new save game data, overwrite this save and overwrite this save so that um, both these manual saves are the modified one. And there we go. So from here, I can just exit this game now on my 5.05 .05 PS4. Now that I've modified the save file, I can then go to settings. And because this account is PSN activated, I can go to application, save data management, save data in system storage, copy to USB storage, God of War, select my save data for God of War, copy it over to my USB drive. So now I can unplug that USB and plug it into my retail PS4. Okay, so now on my retail PS4, and just to show you that it is on the latest firmware here, if I go down to system, system information, I'm on 7.02, latest firmware, no jailbreak. And then I'm gonna go down to uh, the same option, application save data management, save data on my USB storage device and copy it to the system storage. So I can take the God of War save and copy that to my retail PS4. And there you go, it's now on my retail PS4. Okay, so I'll launch the game on my retail. Um, I can just go ahead and, I guess, load game and load that manual save. Of course, it's copied all the saves over. We're now on the same save file on my retail PS4. And if I pause here, you can see I've still got the ridiculously high XP, high hack silver. And I've got all the skills uh, unlocked, as you can see. So we're all we're all good. We've got a modded save on my retail PS4. So there you go, 7.02 and modded save. So now you don't have to, you know, get the save wizard or whatever. Um, now you can export saves from your 5.05 .05 PS4 to your retail. Now you can't do it the other way around. Got to be clear on that, unfortunately. Sony make it so you can only import a save file from the same firmware version it was exported off or lower, but not higher. So, you know, if you export a save from 7.02 and try and import it to uh, your 5.05 .05 PS4, it won't work. Um, but if you you know, are on a lower firmware like 5.05 .05, and you export a save file, you can then load it onto a higher firmware PS4, uh, like a 7.02 PS4, like I've just done here. So you can create modded saves that you can run on your uh, retail PS4. Obviously, God of War is not a great example, but like I say, MMORPGs. You want games where um, your, re your mods that you use on an RTE tool will stick to the save file. So um, I know Dying Light, I think, and Dead Island series are good for that as well because even stuff like your weapon um, damage and critical hit and stuff like that actually sticks to your save file so you can um, create like a, a souped up modded weapons and um, plus items in your inventory as well. You can like modify how many items are in your inventory on certain games and have that stick to your save file and then load that up on your retail PS4. Um, just for fun, if you want to have a modded save on your retail or for getting trophies onto your retail profile, it'll be easier to get maybe platinum trophies if you have a modded save, stuff like that. So yeah, that's basically how you PSN activate a local account on a 5.05 .05 PS4 and also how to create modded saves that you can export from your 5.05 .05 PS4 to a retail PS4. So hope you guys enjoyed the video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.